Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about Jinjitsu templating which is very useful to generate dynamic dynamic files. So let's start with setting up the Jinjitsu CLI where you can just run some command to produce files using Jinjitsu templating. So to, uh, to, ex to install the Jinjitsu CLI we need Python. Let's see if we have Python command sv python no python, how about python 3? yeah, we got python 3 and then with python we usually use virtual environment to make sure that we don't mess around with the existing python installation so we're going to create a new virtual environment under .vnv and then activate it like that then we install the ginger to CLI module. Yeah, it is installed. Now let's see if it's available. Yeah, it's ready for us to use. Now let's start with a basic ginger to template. Here we're going to create something like Hello World, like that, and then we're going to pass a variable, a value for that mining variable. So in here, these curly brackets mean that it's going to print the value of a variable called my name. So this is the, just the variable name, not the actual value. We need to define the value for the variable and then this whole string will be replaced by the value of that variable. So we're going to execute the command like this, change it to hd and then this is the key pair for the value. The, the variable my name is set to this string, which is Malcolm, and then let's call that template uh, to pass. So execute that, and we get hello Malcolm. So you can see this whole string, all the way from the opening double curly brackets to closing double curly brackets, are replaced with Malcolm. So that's how you pass the variable from the argument like that. You can also pass the variable from the file with YAML file. So we're going to create an input for that template with a file called input1.yaml. I'm going to set the value for my name to Harris. Let's save that. And in order to execute that, we need to call it like this change it to the template then the input file and this should break because it doesn't have the YAML library uh, YAML Python library installed let's install PyYAML to make it work yeah PyYAML has been installed now let's run that command again this time it works you can see that input is still the same but the value of my name has been replaced with the value of this one, Harris. So it becomes Hello Harris. Now that's the basic of Jinja2. So Jinja2 can also have loop or conditional expression. Like I'm going to show you with a second template. So we're going to have a second template like this. So basically, we're going to have multiple names in it, and then we're going to have another input file. And the input file will have the variable names because this one expects to expects to have this variable called names in the uh, in the type of list. So this is a list in Python. If you recognize in Python. Uh, the list has three items which are Adam, Chris and Harris. So this template will loop over the names, this one, and each item will be assigned to a variable called name and then it will just print the value of name again and again, again un until all the items in the list is iterated. So let's run this one with ginger2 template to input 2. There you go. 
there's name Adam, name Chris, name Harris. And you can see that there are some extra white spaces in between each lines, which was automatically added by the change to formatting. Now if you want to get rid get rid of those extra white spaces, you can add dash here and dash here. Save it and rerun it. There you go. They are condensed now. Except for the first line. But that's not a story. So that's how you do the looping in Jinja 2. Next we're going to show we're going to see how the if block works. So let's start with an input file like this. Uh, let's create another input file. Yaml, which has this content, so it starts with animals. Animals has two uh, objects, iPads, and movie stars. Each is a list of its own. And then we're going to have another template to pass that those variables like this. So here we're going to loop to animals dot my pets since my pets is directly underneath animals so you need to access it like this animals dot my pets then you can loop through my pets by sending it to another variable called pet and since pet is also a list with object which has two items species and name going to access species like that and name like that and then for the movie stars well, it has similar structure but we want to change the presentation of name with uppercase so we're going to pass it to upper filter to a filter called upper now let's run it it's ginger to template 3 to 3 there you go. The first two items don't get any Mr. Brown's on. They're printed as normal. But then the movie stars Simba and Nemo and Dory, they are uppercase. Now what if we want uh, we want to uh, make sure that it's not going to throw error if some variables are not defined. Let's comment this out and we run it okay looks good because it's uh, there's nothing in there but what if the whole thing is does it, does it exist? well it sh should work as well no, actually animals since animals has been commented out it doesn't work so we need to put an if at the beginning to check if animals is defined. To do that, we put curly bracket percent. So the curly bracket percent is different with double curly brackets. Well, the double curly brackets is to print the output of the variable. Well, curly bracket with percent is the start of programming section in the Jinja 2. So if you want to start with if or for or some set, for example, you need to start. You need to enclose them in curly bracket and percent. So in this case, we want to put, put an if clause. If animals is defined and close the if with end if and put it at, at the end, at the bottom, and rewrite it, this time it should not throw an error. But you also want to tell people that animals is not defined so we put an else clause to complement that if saying animals is not defined we run it there you go you got the error message well actually the, the animals is not defined message not the error message I hope you enjoy it thank you for watching